Okay, so I I didn't actually read the whole article. I just read the uh, thumbnail for this article, but it kind of does tie into some thoughts I had earlier today, which are basically this. Um, here's what the, the article says. Um, our new neighbor, wait, let, let me actually just read it. Our new neighbor thinks we should all be a village for her kids. Uh, no. So there's kind of levels to this because there are some people, yeah, who think like, oh my God, you should totally babysit my kids. You should pick them up from here. You should do this. You should do that. All the things that I need done, you should go do it because like we are all living in the same community like i don't think that i don't think everyone on the block should be like <laughs> a nanny for your children like yeah okay no that's not a thing but um then i think a bigger concern in most cities in most places this is the american question right now like how do we actually live in community because it's not we're not talking about like oh yeah so like we're let's not like shoot each other on the road and stuff and like steal shit from the next door neighbors we're not talking about that there's like this is like a, a country of laws like we have law and order so i'm not i'm not talking about that like i'm not talking about oh like how do we not just be completely lawless like no i'm literally asking like what does it mean to be in community because i feel like that is actually the question that we are all confronting right now when we're being honest about like israel and hamas or like white versus black or like Amer the west basically versus like everywhere else those are the honest questions that we're asking and that's also and i think even if we're talking about like social class and what does it mean we have to be real about the fact that for a lot of people being black in this country has meant living a second class experience so here's what I'm saying by that. Like a lot of people are, uh, for a very long time, I heard this argument like, yeah, but we have like more education. We have more experiences, like we're better able to do the job. So people are always wondering like, oh, like how did this person get this job? Oh, they're more qualified. And then there was this whole conversation around like culture fit. Oh, the culture fit was better. The culture fit, culture fit, culture fit. Oh, you're just not a culture fit here okay well that mm, i don't know like why don't we actually talk about what the culture is because like the reality is um especially like being a person with like african descent who like lives in america now like your culture is probably going to be pretty fucking multifaceted like you have whatever culture that it is that you come from from actual africa and then you have like your own american experiences that you were able to have within like your parents cultural like reach like whatever they kind of let you do that was like sort of american and then you have like your own ambitions like as you go out you know into the world and you do things like whatever that is and then if you choose to like have your own family like one day then you have that and whatever you built there so that's pretty like intersectional and like cross-cultural so i guess if someone's saying like oh i don't know your culture i don't identify your culture i don't see it i don't understand it yeah it's not a fit and it's kind of like but if you don't know it and you don't understand it how do you know it's not a fit like what does that even mean and so i guess a bigger idea here <laughs> comes from uh, let's actually introduce one more concept into this like rant for a second so i saw that elon musk went to israel the site where the terrorist attack happened and then he said we have no tolerance for hate i'm gonna try to invest in the next generation and make sure that they don't grow up being hateful and i think like there's sometimes when people are like a little bit too late in this game like there are we have like terrorism here in america like right now like i don't think i was actually just reading a blog like i was, I was reading the comments on um yesterday's like the, it was like the Ann Coulter substack right and i was reading the comments and i'm actually just going to read some of these out to you guys so you can see what I was reading. Now, some of you might be like, Olivia, why would you expect anything else from like these people? So here are the comments on like the disaffected urban youth thing, like post. Um, the comments are kind of intense. Um, like here, read this one. The euphemisms dis de, uh, employed to describe 
feral non-whites is designed to make them look like blameless victims when they are nothing of the sort. It's hard to have sympathy for a Jewish teacher who is or was a likely supporter of BLM, wokeism, and equity, or non-white discrimination, anti-white discrimination. Someone responds to this, eaten by their own. The only thing more delicious is the irony. Someone else says, absolutely. The Dems have perfectly, have perfected the divide for political gain technique. Sow discord, inflame racial hate, create victims out of thin air. Every dirty trick in the book. Someone says, we are doomed as a country at this rate. Bringing this kind of hate into our schools and thus into our communities is horrific. This is the globalist wish to tear down the societal threads that bind us, to eliminate our culture and traditions. It's jihad. Hmm. Someone else says, is lower primate euphemistic enough? But who, they're calling people primates. Then someone else says this. Oh, apple of no one's eye, I loathe you. Let me count the ways. Is it more okay in NYC to deny others the right of freedom of speech, freedom of association? What did they expect would come of their century-long campaign to force leftist backwardness and unwisdom on America? Are NYC folks aware that no group has been more supportive of Blacks and others, and for a longer period of time than Jewish Americans, Americans gold medal every week in the most astonishing stupidity category? True that Jews support, supported Blacks and others, but they did it because they viewed the white population as a greater threat to them. Blind self-preservation makes some people short-sighted, but more importantly, it was the whites themselves who passed the Civil Rights Act and set up the Civil Rights um, Commission that has been exploited to eviscerate our society. Uh, it was whites who repeatedly voted for Democrat politicians who pandered to black hatred of whites and imported millions of immigrants from the most backward parts of the world to increase de Democrat political power, the most astonishing Stupidity Award has many contenders. Then someone responds and they say, in the most astonishing stupidity historical division, what about the Southern white planter class, which already confronted with one bunch of indigenous red Aborigines, decided it would be a good idea to transport millions of black Aborigines 3,000 miles simply to get free labor and free sex. <laughs> I, I, I kind of wonder that too. Like, I think that probably like that, to me, that comment summarizes like a lot of like how I feel about like the black American experience. It just, it, it's, it's very strange. Like I, uh, Some of the terms like Okay, so it says Aborigines are the indigenous people of Australia. They're also known as the first people of Australia. So it says Aborigines have lived in Australia for at least 65,000 years. This is before the modern human settlement of Europe and the Americas. They lived in areas far from other cultures and were unknown until outsiders came onto, into their lands. There are many different distinct Aboriginal groups in Australia. Each has its own culture, language, beliefs, and practices. Aborigines work in many different areas of the Australian economy, including healthcare, clerical work, storekeeping, teaching, stockmen, cowboys. There's some website called Cultural Survival.
So supposedly it says like native and indigenous refer to the same group of people. Hmm. I don't actually, this isn't that helpful. It basically says like Aboriginal people are like the original people of the land, but like, what does that mean? Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. There's a whole article, which I'm kind of trying to read to understand, which I'll link it in the description box. Oh, people are talking about, I don't, I don't really know. I, I have very difficult to understand. Oh God. Um, the point here is that we all don't really see eye to eye. Like we're not seeing, uh, kind of like living in this country the same way and it's like a strange thing to understand because I feel like with the lens that I have I feel like I've understood that I've had to create like a space that is very uniquely black and is very unique to me it's another reason why I have so many videos on this channel of me talking about stuff and voicing my opinions on things and they're pretty much all unpopular opinions and you might be sitting here like why is that important like who cares okay yeah good question good question who does care and i mean obviously i care <gasps> oh but also i realized that there's so much context that's kind of missing so i try to give it like chunk by chunk so that you can kind of follow the story to like kind of understand where I'm coming from, at least even a little, um, to sort of, um, help contextualize where I formed my opinion. Because I do realize there's not that many women who are online with opinions. A lot of women are talking about relationships, which I think is useful. I do think that it's useful to talk about relationships in the modern age with women. I found the sprinkle sprinkle lady, which I feel like a lot of you guys, maybe, maybe not you guys. I don't know if this, this is definitely not like a dating coach side of the internet. Um, but like the people who have been on the dating coach side of the internet are familiar with this sprinkle sprinkle lady. And I finally found her. Um, and I saw some of her videos and they made sense. It's basically this um, woman who's talking about like how women need to date for economics, like things cost money. Um, yeah. Things cost money. So like you, you have to have money to like, uh, <laughs> to like buy shit. Um, I don't see how that's, that's not really controversial at all. That just seems pretty like, uh, how do you say like, obvious maybe would be the word. So. day culture in America it just it's like a non-stop because I guess we have too much information also I feel like it's an awful idea to get your information from the news also I think I'm finally I'm like happy for the first time that we actually have like Instagram YouTube TikTok all these platforms where you're able to like see things and see people regularly okay and you're seeing them in the way that like they are choosing to present themselves and you have like a variety of like representations so it isn't just like oh a white person oh a black person oh an asian person it's like a, literally a variety of people 
and because you're able to see a variety of people like this then it it's like very clear like oh i have this like perception of what it was like to be say black or to be say white or whatever to be whatever the fuck it is that you believe that you are and then all of a sudden you come to the conclusion and the realization that you might be wrong like the shit that you thought was not necessarily true i don't know but <laughs> i also gotta like if whoever is still like watching this channel thank you guys for being here thank you thank you <gasps> comment um subscribe i am i am really trying to work on my writing ability and clarify these like thought concepts so the way that i do this okay is by like just rambling off in the way that i am just because i have a ridiculous amount of memory um so and i have wi-fi so <laughs> instead of consuming content which a lot of you guys are um i do like to consume content but i like to consume content from creators in the real world um and people you know living in the real world and then make social commentary about that as opposed to like just being fed what the media tells me so yeah